kids. We're back with the $80 Rufus Halloween, and this video is going to be a bit different from the other videos I make. This is going to be about Windows. This is going to be about Mac OS. This is going to be about Linux. No, this is going to be about BSD. Um, so, uh, we are going to be installing NetBSD on the $80 Jeep satellite. Why? I haven't made a BSD video before, so this is a very, very nice opportunity to change. I mean, like, I mean, I'm, like, building my entire life saving. This is gonna get, like, like, 90 views in a month, but, <laughs> you know, uh, whatever. Uh, NetBSD is very cool, so I want to install it. So, let's just... So, without further ado, I have the USB drive in, and we, now we are going to boot. Currently, I have a to 12.0. Oh, I said 12.04. I'm about to say 10.04. 10.04 on here right now, and yeah, that is uh, that is to 10.04 from, you know, the last $80 we said live video. Wait, what's in here? Nothing. Thought there was something in there. All right, USB memory. All right, welcome to the NetBSD i386 10.1 installation program. Boy, this was uh, and this was uh, truly a chore to get working because um, <laughs> well, I mean, I tried it on a, uh, I like I tried to get the AMD 64 ISO, thinking it would work with the, you know, the the computer I was trying to do which was the Gigabyte Tower, which I, you know, which I installed Windows 7 on in, in this video. Um, yeah, um, that machine is only 32-bit, so I got the AI386 version. I got the three i386 version, which is also this laptop's architecture. Um, yeah, that didn't work either because it just got stuck on this screen it said oh we, i couldn't detect the hardware yeah so installation app messages in english u.s english i think now install net bsd to a hard disk you have chosen to install net bsd on your hard disk this will change your information on your hard disk you should have made a full backup before this procedure this procedure will do the following things i'm pretty new to bsd so i'm not really sure um yes of course i want to continue on what's this do you want to install that bsd i think it's gonna be wd0 which is this one this this matches the following bios disk this is the correct geometry i don't know <laughs> um use the entire disk Do you really, do you really want to override that particular NetBSD? Yes, of course. You can use a simple editor to set the size of the NetBSD partitions. Use default partition sizes. They're okay. Okay, we are now ready to install NetBSD on your hard disk, WD0. Nothing has been written yet. This is like our last chance for, shall we continue? Yes, of course we shall. Okay, would you like to install the normal set of boot blocks or serial boot blocks? BIOS console. Select a distribution. So, what do we want? A full installation? Installation with that X11? We definitely want a full installation because we want to mess around with everything. Still from. Install image media. That might be this. All right. The extraction of the selected sets for NetBSD 10.1 is complete. The system is now be able to boot from the first hard disk. To complete the installation, SysInst will give you the opportunity to consider some eventual things first. Okay, that's great. The root password of the news. Now you have to initialize if you do not. And turn empty line, okay. Uh, this system seems to lack a cryptographically strong pseudo random num random number generator. Is 
So, no, not now, continue. I don't care. Configure the additional items as needed. What do we want? Configure our time zone. See if I can go down to my time zone. Yep, there it is. All right. Finish configuration. I did not read that. <laughs> Hard disk, okay. Thank you for using, oh, okay. So we can just go back to the beginning. So I guess we just exit the install system now. We're gonna do this the cool way. So I'm just gonna take the USB drive out. Make sure I boot off the hard drive. Okay, here it is. Uh, boot normally. All right, login. Uh, roots. Okay, let's just. All right, just logged in as roots. I don't know if I set a username. But let's see if we can start X. And there we are. <laughs> we're in we're in X. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can start uh, our beautiful X eyes. Yes, uh, beautiful. And just put it down there. What about X calc? Oh. <laughs> So we gotta quit out of exercise first. Okay, X calc. X calc. Let's run this. Oh. <laughs> okay. I bumped into the camera. Just trying to go closer. Okay. So uh, yeah, this is a calculator. We can do 99 times 99. Last might be a little bit uh, awkward. 9,801. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you could just do your regular like Unix things in here. Yeah, like that. So. I want to see if we can, uh, now I want to get like a, now I wanted to install some like applications on here. So like to have some like fun, but, um, it doesn't really look like, uh, <laughs> uh, but since we're not connected to the internet, I don't think it will be possible. Like I want to install PK Gin, but you know what, you know what Michael MJD demoed in his NetBSD on the Wii video. Yeah, I kind of want to install PK Gin, but I don't think, uh, I don't know if that's happening. Do you think I might ever, like, install a Wi-Fi card on this, in this thing? Maybe. I could. Just, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think Tetris is installed on this thing. Yeah. Tetris is installed. Okay, so this is, like, kind of weird controls of Tetris. I, I was always used to the arrow keys method, but uh, <laughs> it's also this. Well, yeah, it is a, oh shit. <laughs> I just dropped it by accident. You know, whatever, let's just lose. Wow, 254 for roots. <laughs> That's amazing. 
That's me, oh my god. Just darkening the screen a little bit. Just darkening the exposure a little bit. But uh, yeah, we still got X clock. And as you can see, we got no applications in here. Terminal. Let's go to terminal and see if, I think we could just quit. Quit not found, okay. It, it might be exit. Oh, <laughs> that just exited the terminal. Okay, so we're just questing there. We have fun with installing that BSD, and I hope you had fun too. So, anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.